Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, LeBron James and 2 Chains are working together, and Michael Rappaport completely takes back what he said yesterday. Plus, Little Pump drops a track list for Harvard Dropout. Let's talk hip hop. The 16 tracks, we wanna do 14. Um, LeBron James is like a real big hip hop head. Like, ever since he first came in the game, I'm talking 10 years ago, I'm talking 11 years ago, you know, you see him like chilling with Lil Wayne and just like really big in the hip. I mean, he's, he's a black kid from Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, he ain't no kid, but you know what I'm saying? He was a black kid from Cleveland, Ohio. So, you know that he loves hip hop, you know he's a fan, right? You became a basketball player and now you have influence and now you have, you know, the ability to even just hang out with all these dudes, right? So, um, LeBron James, you know, like recently he had his interview, The Shop, where he like interviewed Drake after that whole Pusha T and Drake situation. Um, LeBron likes to include himself like in the hip hop culture, well, which is cool. You know, um, he caught a little backlash a couple months ago for when he quoted that, uh, that 121 Savage lyric when he was riding around his car, just riding around rapping, you know, my money kosher. And then Jewish people got kind of upset because he said, you know, use the word kosher or whatever like that. That, which was weird because he didn't say nothing negative about Jewish people and he didn't even say, you know, the word kosher in a bad way, but whatever. Um, so now he's going to be a and uh 2 Chains' album, which is going to be pretty dope, man. Um, they showed like a little commercial, you know, Apple Music. For people that don't know what a and ring is, when somebody a and rs your album, that means like they, they kind of get it together like in a cohesive story. Um, like, let's say, uh, like I A and R my, my videos, right? So I kind of think about what story I want to tell. Um, I put it together. I, you know, figure out, okay, what subject am I going to talk about first, second, then third, um, roughly how long is the video going to be? Uh, you know, what, what is the main goal here or what's the main point that I'm trying to get across here right so that's what a and r in an album is now two chains of course he writes all his own music you know and probably you know thought in his head like I would want to do a song about this subject or I want to do a song about that subject but what LeBron James does is come in and says you know what I think that on that song you should have Queen Nigel, you know, I think that she would sound good on that song. Or, you know, what he said was, hey man, you got 16 songs for the album, how about we just put 14 songs on the album, and then like a week or two later, you add the other two songs, like as a deluxe version or something like that. You know, so, so that's where like LeBron comes in. Like he is not producing an album, he's not like, you know, he doesn't make beats or anything like that, but he's like a and in the album, just kind of helping 2 Chainz like get his story across and, and kind of, you know, figure Figure out what that story is and two chains is down for it he's like hell yeah I, i'm down with it you know um this is dope this is the two chains album that i've been waiting for for a minute you know after pretty girls love trap music which was fire too after collie grove which was fire too um now <laughs> he's coming out with this joint right here i don't even know the name of the album yet but i think it's almost done i mean if apple music is dropping a commercial about it and lebron james is in there they in the studio talking about like what they're going to do with the album and all that then that means the album is almost done so yo i can't wait for that shit to come out uh let me know what y'all think in the comments down below yo so yesterday right I talked about uh, Meek Mill and how he went in on Michael Rappaport because Michael Rappaport said he was a trash rapper, right? So um, this morning he calls in to Sway's universe, right? With Sway and Heather B. And he's like, listen, you know, um, I take it back. Basically, you know, I guess the bloggers was giving it to him, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, what's the four elements of hip hop? You got the MC, you got the B-girl, you got uh, the music, the DJ, and then you got graffiti, right? And he's like, no way in the four elements of hip hop does it say a blogger, you know? Um, I, I disagree a little bit because it's like, yo, who is the blogger? The blogger could be a graffiti artist that also does blogging. Therefore, his opinion is part of the four elements of hip hop, so on and so forth. I used to be an MC, and yeah, now I'm a blogger, so guess what, bro? <laughs> this is the four elements of hip hop right here, bro, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, right? So Michael Rappaport said, look, I take back what I said. Meek Mill's not a trash rapper. Um, 
you know, his, his rhymes are not trash. I wish I could take that word back um, and basically just apologize. You know, he didn't really give any reason for why he used the word trash. He really didn't, uh, you know, expand on it. But what he did say was, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use the word trash. And that's because he himself was getting trashed on the internet yesterday. I'm sure and it's not even bloggers that was even really going in on him. It was Twitter. You know, it was Instagram. Like people were like getting at him, you know. And I even said this yesterday. I consider Michael Rappaport as a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? And he has a right to his opinion. But Meek Mill also has the right to dog walk your motherfucking ass all up and down Twitter because you gonna come out your face and say something crazy about Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. The whole situation was funny, uh, but Michael Rappaport was feeling that heat, so <laughs> You niggas, like, yo, I'm ready for this, right? Lil Pump got that fucking, like, hey, hey, you in the club. Lil Pump got the kind of music that I could just ride around in my car. You know what I'm saying? I got two 12s back there, and I'm just like, bam, bam, you know, banging that shit. Like, everything that he got, like, I fucking like Lil Pump. Like, his first album that he came out with was just called Lil Pump. That shit was fire. He had Gucci Man on it. He had Rick Ross on it. Um, but that's the album that had Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. You know what I'm saying? Um, he had a couple singles off of that shit, right? Um, so now he's coming out with College Dropout, which comes out on Friday. I mean, Harvard Dropout, not College Dropout. That comes out on Friday, yo. Um, and I'm here for this, yo. So two days from now, it's dropping. So on Instagram, Lil Pump dropped the track list. So you got 16 tracks on it, right? Dropout. Uh, nah, -uh. yo, I, nah, -uh. I'm, I already know that song is gonna be fucking fire just by the name of it, yo. Um, I love it by Kanye, of course. It's such a fucking hoe. I love it. Um, I own. He got smoke perp on that shit for show, for show with offset. Um, you got racks on racks. That's the song that he did the video for. That shit is hot. Um, off white butterfly doors. That's the song that China Mac was all upset because he was like Ching Chong, but China Mac want to use nigga, nigga, nigga. So I don't understand it at all. I mean, why is there a double standard? So my man can't say Ching Chong when Lil Wayne is saying he smoked weed till his eyes Chinese forever, but China Mac mad at this nigga. But you can say nigga, nigga, nigga. Fuck out of here, yo. I think that China Mac can say nigga. That's the funny thing, but I also think Lil Pump should not have to be fucking ran down on in a club in Miami for saying Ching Chong on an album, on a, on a song. You know what I mean? Um, number nine, Too Much Ice with Quavo. Of course, ice, ice. You got to get the ice guy on that shit. Lil Uzi Vert is on here. Let me find out. Yo, Lil Uzi Vert better drop that album and stop bullshitting. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Uh, be Like Me with Lil Wayne. Uh, he got Stripper Name with YG and 2 Chains. Uh, drug addicts, that's that song with um, that Charlie Sheen was in the video. Let's get it! Let's get it! And who that? So, a couple songs on here we already heard before. Um, but I, yo, every single song that I've heard so far on this Low Pump album that already came out, I thought was fire. You know what I'm saying? I'll be right to the town, let's get it. Let's get it! You know what I'm saying? In, my <laughs> in the whip. So, I'm looking forward to this, man. Two more days, yo. A Low Pump drop. Uh, let me know if y'all looking forward to that and let me know what y'all think about all this in the comments down below um, comment subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell and follow me at Johnny Fastlane on everything and y'all know what to do peace